What is up guys, it is Cokeboy J here bringing you guys another video. It's been a month, but your boy's back. Been busy. Got you guys. This 70 plus gameplay. Me and Mafia Neverhand both dropped 70 kills in this game. Very great. That's the homeboy. Gotta shout him out. You know what's the most craziest thing about this dude? Is that he doesn't play... Cold. He hasn't played COD or hasn't played Xbox since they've, um, they pick contracts in the game, right? So you know how you gotta get 75 wins to get the 10 more supply jobs and the weapon bribe, blah, 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 blah. But we have the season pass. Me, I got the Amex Grand out of my weapon bribe and pretty much nothing out of the 10 more supply jobs. So I signed into his account. And I was like, alright, I'm going to open up the 10 rear supply jobs first, then the weapon bribe. The very last rear supply job, I pulled up from Miles on his account. Ridiculous. So when that dude gets back on Call of Duty and he hops back on Black Ops 3, the first class he's going to see, from Miles. So he better thank me for that because I came in clutch for that dude. But yeah. um, What I wanted to talk about was Infinite Warfare and the Call of Duty 4 remake. My thoughts on it and the amount of hate that it's received. If you guys don't know, it's May 15th. The trailer dropped early this month. The video has over 2 million dislikes now. When it hit 1 million, I was like, damn, like, this is crazy, but not crazy at the same time because it's justifiable by what happened in the last three installments of Call of Duty. And this is including Black Ops 3. Because all the frustration that people has been feeling from these games finally came out on this Infinite Warfare trailer. Two million dislikes. That's that's breaking records, man. It, it's breaking records, and I believe that it can hit three million soon. Because it's just it's just a trend now. You know, you had those people that were like, you know what? I should just drop a dislike, just to drop a dislike. But hey, me personally, I don't care. Drop a dislike if you want, but the majority of those dislikes are justifiable. Those are from the core fans of Call of Duty. These are people who have been frustrated with Call of Duty since Ghost. Ghost had bad maps. Is it a bad game? In my opinion, no, but I'm going to be objective about it. The game isn't that great for everybody. Advanced Warfare, nobody liked it. It was too advanced. That's exactly what the game was. Advanced Warfare. It was too advanced for a lot of people. A lot of people couldn't hang because of the movement. Black Ops 3. Similar. You know, the movement is a little slow, but it's it's weird. Like, this is a weird game to play. You know, it's it's hard to describe, but the whole... The whole it's like if you jump in the air first... And you're landing and somebody else jump. You can't aim at that person properly. So like there's a lot of weird angles that you can't do. Because the aim assist isn't as strong. As opposed to AW. Where the AW the aim assist was pretty strong. So you can snap on somebody. That's the thing. This game they love to nerf so much shit. Why would you nerf the ADS time on these SMGs? That's another topic for another day. You know, patch up the patch ops three. That's pretty much what we're gonna call this. Patch up three. Patch ops three. It's not even Black Ops three. It was like nerfing some shit, bro. But all of that anger and frustration that the Call of Duty community has been facing for these past three years has been shown through the Infinite Warfare trailer. And you know what Activision has to say to all of these people who want boots in the ground? Here's what they have to say. Buy the Legacy Edition and get the Call of Duty 4 remake because Call of Duty 4 is boots in the ground. Well, here's my question to you, Activision. Who wanted the Call of Duty 4 remake in the first place? I have Call of Duty 4 in my hand right now. This game's in my hand. You hear that? You hear that? Call of Duty 4 is in my hand right now. If I wanted to play Call of Duty 4, I'll turn on my 360 and play Call of Duty 4. Just that simple. The majority of the community, I understand, did not play Call of Duty 4 because they did not grow up on this game like I did. But at the same time, 
The OG Call of Duty fan wants an MW2 remake that is balanced and that is patched. If you were to patch MW2 and put it with the Infinite Warfare, your game will sell like crazy. But no, you put a COD 4 remake with 10 maps. Which, hey, I, I, I don't mind. I'm going to buy the Digital Deluxe Edition for $100. I'm going to get this game. I'm going to play it. If I don't like Infinite Warfare, I'm play COD 4. Hey. But it's not what we wanted. And there's a reason why the video has 2 million dislikes. Call of Duty is not in a great spot anymore. And here's pretty much my prediction on how Infinite Warfare is going to do. Infinite Warfare is going to be a flop. It's still going to sell pretty well, but it's going to be one of the lowest selling COD games. If not the lowest selling COD game of all time. Excluding, excluding the first four Call of Duties, you know, excluding those, you know, Call of Duty has been on a downward trend ever since MW3. The sales has been going down yearly, down, 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 and now you have all these microtransactions, these supply drops are supposed to make up for it. Here's what's gonna happen: your game's gonna die. Here's why: Battlefield has so much hype behind it. World War 1, Battlefield 1 has so much hype behind it now. So much. I've never seen Battlefield been so hyped up in my life. I played BF4. I like BF4. I played BF3. I like BF3. Those games are amazing. Will I play those over COD? I don't know. It's all dependent on my mood. But I've never seen the Battlefield game have so much hype in my life. I've, I've, I've never seen it. Like, it's so crazy. How it's so crazy how Call of Duty dominated the FPS genre for years, and now we're starting to see this shift. I'm telling you, this game is going to die, and you know what's gonna happen? Nobody's gonna buy DLC. Nobody's gonna buy your little stupid supply jobs, cause I guarantee, since all this stupid little space bullshit that you're trying to fucking promote with Infinite Warfare, I guarantee these supply jobs are gonna have stuff like lightsabers and freaking a stormtrooper outfit. It's gonna have the most gimmicky things, just like Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three used to be so good a couple months ago. Now what happened? This game is infested by little twelve-year-olds that are playing with stupid crowbars and bats and sword. And don't even get me started on the marshals because those are probably the most annoying thing to die from in this game. The marshal is really annoying. It is so rage-inducing and it gets me so pissed. But it's something that you have to deal with. But it, you're, you're gonna, you're ruining the game. Black Ops 3 is ruined by supply jobs because of all these little kids running around with crowbars and who who the, it's the future, bro. It's future. It's Black Ops 3. This is a war. Who who runs around the map looking like a Power Ranger with a sword? Like what is this? This game this game isn't meant for adults anymore. This game is meant for little kids. And it's just so ridiculous, and I feel like Infinite Warfare is going to be the same way because of this whole trend of supply drops. Nobody's going to play the game. Because you're, you're bundling the game with COD 4 with the hopes that, okay, if people were not going to play Infinite Warfare, they're going to play COD 4. Which is probably true, but at the same time, Battlefield has so much hype around it that, hey, why would we play... A game that came out in 2007 where we could play this brand new game called Battlefield 1. Bringing it back to World War 1. A whole bunch of new innovations with the games in terms of weapons and the way war was fought back then. It's so interesting. It, it's really interesting. And I think that Battlefield 1 is going to blow up. It's going to do crazy amount of numbers. And it's going to outsell COD this year most likely j just off a of hype. So, this is pretty much it for the video, guys. Leave a comment in the description about how you feel, and I'm out. Peace. R.I.P. Cold Duty.